Taco Tuesday, y'all. We are having some rib. I am having some rib eye tacos, y'all. Some leftover rib eye from last night. Yes, ma'am. And they are fully loaded with my fresh pico de gallo on top. And I'm going to be eating my cilantro lime sauce. This is flavored lemon water. And Murder Show has some spiced ground turkey tacos with pico de gallo and lettuce. Yummy, freaking delicious. But he's also drinking some Tahibo tea with lemonade. Yummy, delicious. Mmm. Who wants a yummy bite? What's up, yummy bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all already see the spread, okay? Um, I wanted these so bad, y'all. Like, I really missed them. Um, I'm drinking lemon-flavored water. Ah, uh -huh. yes, y'all. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that is de freaking licious. It's not better than mine. That Tahibo tea still warm with that simply lemonade in there. Honey. Mm. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> as we ask God to bless the food as we give things. Amen. Amen. Y'all let us know what y'all eating for Taco Tuesday. Let me shake up my sauce, honey. Because I bottles my sauce now. I used to leave it in the uh, blender. We got to take a thumbnail. You want to take a thumbnail with that taco? Come on. Big old. Wait, we can't go to the same side. Okay. Y'all, this is about to be so good, y'all. Rib eye, I cut the like my leftover rib eye and I put it in here, and I put a little bit of the um the um uh, spiced uh taco meat, the the turkey taco meat, baby. Ooh, ooh, this is about to be good. I just know it. I don't think I've ever had a rib eye. I don't think I've ever had a rib eye taco ever. But we're gonna put our cilantro lime sauce, ooh, and our chipotle Tabasco. Y'all already know it's dripping. That is incredible. Mm. Oh my God. That is so good. Gotta be the crunchiest tacos on the mm. internet, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all know I'm the taco queen. Mmm. <laughs> mm mm mm. Mmm. 
This is so good. Mmm. Ribeye tacos. Mmm. You have to have that. For real. I was thinking that after you just said that. I'm like, hmm. Ribeye taco, I would cook some ribeye outside. And then you would slice it up and put it on. That would be a ribeye taco. Oh, my God. Off the <laughs> grill. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. Mmm. We got to do that. We got to do that. Can we do that soon? <laughs> yep. I already ran Next through week. my head. Next <laughs> week. <laughs> taco Tuesday, baby. Mmm. <clears throat> Mmm. Look at that ribeye. Oh my god, it's so good. Mmm. You know, I'll have to get that out later. What? I got sauce in my hair. <laughs> sauce in my hair. Like, are you kidding me? Mmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to flip that <coughs> to the back. <laughs> flip it to the back. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. And I told myself I'm only eating four tacos today. Just four. Because I think I usually have five. Which is overkill for me. Ooh. Sauce boss. Mmm. Mmm. That's the one. Mmm. Mmm. It's so so good. I'm eating ribeyes. My steak gonna be soft taco. Mm -hmm. mm. Soft, soft taco. Soft flour tortilla. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. That's how you wanna do that ribeye. Mmm. Butter that tortilla. Nah, warm and buttery, like some like some warm buttered bread. Mmm. Mm. Mm. And spread some baked potato on there. Mm. Spread some baked potato, and then the that's what I can have that. But yeah, that'd be good for you. Yep. Why you can't? Eat, oh, you can't eat potatoes. Mmm. -mm. Mm, tragedy. <laughs> Mmm. I'm going to stop eating potatoes too one day. <laughs> hey, can you get a thing of napkins? Somebody keeps taking the napkins from over here. I don't know why. Mmm. Mmm. Thank you. Uh-oh. Came right on off. Can you get this out of my hair? Because I can't seem to. Where is that? Right here. You don't see that? No. Is it out? So, y'all, we got to tell y'all about yeah. last night, honey. <laughs> she going to need a washing. You know what I'm saying? Really? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't okay. just like rub soap out with it. <laughs> I mean, you know, sauce out with a paper towel. Mmm. Y'all, we went through some of everything to end up at Capitol Grill last night. <laughs> First of all, let me let y'all know something. If you plan to go to Fogo Day Chow, Make sure you make a reservation. 
because I'm thinking that a lot of people know about them now or something. I don't know, but it was packed on a Sunday, y'all. You would never think that a restaurant would be packed on a Sunday? Sunday night. Especially if I go to a child. Um, baby, we were shocked. Because before, like a couple of days before, I was thinking about, I was like, I wonder if you need to make reservations. And it was just a thought. But I was like, I never have made reservations for for the child. So it just quickly left my mind. Honey, we drove to that place last night. And um, I wanted to ballet because I was not. Because <laughs> we saw how many people was there, right? I looked in that parking lot. I was like, I'm not walking all the way from that parking lot to this uh building. Let's um ballet. And as soon as we drive up to the ballet, the man comes to us and was like, um, did he ask us, did we have reservations? Mm -hmm. And we were like, no. He's like, well, um, you know, it's an hour wait. It's, he literally told us that we couldn't, we couldn't come in, right? No. He, he invited me to go in and see, like, I don't know if he thought I thought he was lying or something. Mm-hmm. But when you said an hour wait. Who wasn't doing that? An hour? Mm-mm. We was hungry, and I know I had time for that. Anyway, so we left there, and I was like, oh, we can go to Grand Lux, right? So, we get to going down there, because um, it's right down the street, right? Because Grand Lux is by the Galleria, and every, it, everything is on Westheimer. <clears throat> and so, we on our way down there, and we pass up... Um, Papa's Steakhouse. And me and Marshall had been talking about that we needed to go and try their steaks. Because one day we was just sitting down, we was going through all of these steakhouses. And we didn't even know that Papa's had a steakhouse. Okay. And so, passed them up, we was like, oh, let's go to Papa's Steakhouse. So, I was like, look it up. And, um... No, did you just look it up on your own? <clears throat> did I ask you to look it up? I can't remember. I don't remember. <clears throat> oh, them jalapenos is spicy, honey. Do you, do, can you taste the jalapenos? Mm -hmm. Those are the ones I grew. <clears throat> I just okay. picked those today. <laughs> 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 I love it when I pick stuff and we eat it. I just love it. Anyway, so... um, He tried to call, right? And nobody was answering the closed. phone. But I I looked it up and I was like, they're closed on Sunday. They are closed. And he was like, oh, well, yeah, they must be, you know, because they wasn't answering the phone. I'm like, yes, they're closed because it said it on the internet. Anyway, so he was like, dang, where are we going to freaking go? Then, um, oh, so then we was, we had turned around. Then we was on our way back the other way towards Grand Lux again. Then... We passed up Capitol Grill, and I remember um, wanting to try them because we had never been there before, right? And um, I don't know, do y'all remember the Mo show? She had um, did Capitol Grill on one of her mukbangs years ago, y'all, and that was when I was interested in eating there. And um, yeah, it's not until now <laughs> that we got a chance to go. So we um, turned around again, um, cause we were going to go, uh, to, uh, Grand Lux because they had tables. There was no wait, nothing. And so he called, didn't you call, um, Capitol Grill to see if they had tables? Mm -hmm. Anyways, and they had tables and we, and we went there. 
Y'all, we walked in there. It's on the vlog. Um, I. What in the? What? You ate all them tacos fast. Oh my god. It's been over. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Are you full? Jeez, Louiser. <clears throat> anyway, you want to finish the story? Um, so we walk in. Hit me that one real quick, please. Because I feel the sauce in my hair on my back. <laughs> what? You, you didn't get it all. Where is it? I have got to get it now. Where is it? I don't even. I don't, you don't see, see it. it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So we walk in. And thank everybody for your happy birthday wishes. I really, really appreciate appreciate it. Like so many people are telling me happy birthday, y'all. I'm like, oh my god, I feel. So happy and grateful for everybody. Like, that made me feel so special. Y'all don't even understand. And I felt so special yesterday. Like, I have never felt so special on my birthday, y'all. Like, it's, it's been a long time. And I, I felt really special yesterday. Thank you to my family. Like, everybody in my family that came over. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And Valley, I love uh, the purse that you got me. I was literally looking for a purse like that. And you got me the exact purse, the exact shape, everything, the color. Yeah. Like, can you believe it? Yes, y'all. Uh, anyway, okay, go ahead. You almost got a purse from me, too, if it would have got delivered. I don't know if it was an aunt. Uh, Ann Klein? Is it Ann? No, Michael what? Kors. <gasps> It was cream and like, you are... I swear to God, but it couldn't get delivered. What do you mean it couldn't get delivered? I mean, delivered? it wouldn't have been delivered on time. So, yeah. You oh, were... of course. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I, she, You was doing a great job. I wouldn't even, I, I didn't even eat. have no stir to make out all of that shit. We went to Capitol Grill. I just skipped all that. We went shit. in, y'all. I smelled in the old carpet. Ambience. I, I smelled old carpet. I smelled old carpet. I said, damn, I smell old carpet in here too. That's the first thing I. I didn't smell it, y'all. It was it had, beautiful you know, in there. Yeah, it had to, you know, they was playing that. I don't know what kind of music this is. It they were playing classical music. It wasn't classical. That was too. No, that was not classical. Yeah, it was classical. It was like <laughs> piano. It was like that's early. Classical. I guess no, that's not cl classical. Is like Beethoven is and Mozart and shit. Is it? Yeah, this was like more. I guess I don't know, nineteen twenties or something. It's it was that kind of. It, it was, was like, that cigar. Um, it was like white people cigar, jazz. Was it that was white cigar, people jazz? Hell no. Is that what that was? It was cigar lounge like music. Muted it's trumpets. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and piano. Lots of piano. Yeah. That, that, Lots of piano. Mm, real dark in there. We had to pull out our phones and use the flashlight just to be able to see the menu. Word. You know, combination of the old it eyes and the low dark. light. I mean, yeah. shit. <laughs> and then the oldest waiter that I've ever seen in my life pops up. I'm saying to myself, I say, oh, shit. Is yeah. this the waiter? And you know how, no like, way. he always says uh, he don't want to go nowhere where there's garçons. He was so a walk up song. himself. <laughs> y'all, do y'all do you know that you know how like when you're looking through your the menu and they'll leave and they'll come back? He stood by our yeah, table he like took, yeah, he took a few steps like back a, and just like I'm gonna just wait right here. Like he was a like a like he was I, a butler. Exactly. Yeah, that was butler, butler swag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just thought it was neat, y'all. I thought it was neat. But you know what he did though? That he probably that, shouldn't. No, he shouldn't have. Over. He kept reaching over me. I mean, That's close, y'all. He, he must have been. He was reaching I'm on like, purpose. That was. He, he was, was smelling you. Purpose? He had to have been smelling Stop you. Stop it. I'm telling you, old man t tactic. All that reaching and stuff. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he kept reaching over me. I'm like, but he does kept he reaching know over you. He wasn't reaching over me. Yeah. He kept reaching over you. I'm like, he don't know he's supposed to do that. That was no weird. excuse me or nothing. No. No, he did it. How many times? Like at least two or three. Yeah, right? exactly. So it did. But then all that reaching in left something, I'm gonna come back and more, so I can come back and reach again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna leave that plate. I'm gonna come back and reach one more time. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Now 
he was cool though. At first, mm-hmm. I was like, at first, I was, was like, nice. I detected. I was like, do I detect attitude on my old ass girl song? At first, I was thinking the same at thing. At first, he might have maybe he must have had a little bit stank on him. But I then think he, he might have been tired though. Then he got his shit together. When I tell you, he was like eighty five. Yeah, he was very very old. I think probably because like when we didn't want to sit on that other side, if we would have sat on that other side, oh. probably would have been a different waiter. But because we had to sit over there, we wanted mm-hmm. to sit over there. He had to help us. Oh, yeah, and even sure he looked tired. Yeah, because they was trying to sit us right by a, a table full yeah, of a whole people, a bunch of people. He and it was just us. I was like, uh-uh. I don't want to no bump no shoulders with nobody. I don't uh-uh. hear nobody conversation. Mm-mm. <laughs> When she was walking up, when, like when we bent, turned the corner, and I, I, say, I said, I know she's not going to walk us up and sit us right here with no. all of these people. <laughs> but we were sat somewhere in a cozy little booth right next to a, um, <laughs> a conference room, y'all, with some loud folks up in there, y'all. They was out. They was having a good time. I thought it was funny. Mmm. They were so loud. Mm-hmm. Had somebody in there scream, laughing sound, just like her. Yep. Just like me, y'all. That was funny. <laughs> but, um, okay, so how was the food to you? What do you think? I mean, that, that was a delicious lobster crab cake, but mm-hmm. for $26 for one crab cake, like, I was appalled. Just because one, of that, I said, one, how was the food? It was food? one crab cake. That, that was just, I'm still a feel offended. Like, you could at least give a joke two crab cakes. I know, huh? Like, come on, one out. crab cake. But it wasn't shit, big. The shit, it was not big. That was one crab cake. It said, it all. It said it was, it serves two. How the hell are you serving two with one crab cake? <laughs> that don't serve two. That, it says it serves two yeah. with that? Oh, hell no. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? And then, like, the steak wasn't all that to me. I ain't gonna lie. It was not all that. That was some Mine good potatoes. Mine was amazing. It was tender. <clears throat> oh, my God. That was the best cooked steak that I've had. Well. She got ribeye on the bone. I got. Yeah. Pr- uh, it was one. Of New the York best. strip with the bone. I should have got it without the bone. You should have got a ribeye. I don't like ribeye with all of that. What? Raggedy what? gristle and thick fat, like you know what I'm saying? I like, didn't have all that. I like the uniformity. Like you get you a, a, a strip and it's it's lean, but it's still got it's supposed to have still have some good marble in there and still be juicy. Like every other strip that I got at a nice restaurant was still mm-hmm. juicy and good. That one and probably because of the bone, they had to cook it a little, a little longer to make sure that it was cooked around mm-hmm. that bone. Mm-hmm. It wasn't it yeah, it wasn't all that. And then the seasoning wasn't all that. Where's the where's the stuff in the bottom of the plate? Like mm-hmm. the, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, I wasn't impressed at all. Um, Call yourself Capital Grill, and that's what you. Yeah, okay. they're supposed to specialize in steaks. Hmm. Um, we, we gotta go back to um the Fogo. Oh yeah, we're going. Y'all, we pull up and you know he open the door and and we, uh, that's all we can smell is all of that meat. Oh my god. Oh wow. Um, you so good. The potatoes. You said the potatoes was good. Yeah, they was. But I mean, shit. Who? I ain't trying to, like. Come on, all that for some potatoes, nah, bro. Right? <laughs> I couldn't cook a better steak at the crib. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to do that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Remember to make reservations. Yeah, yeah, you just can't pull up at uh, Fogo no more. Okay? No more pull ups. Mm, damn, didn't it smell good? Like, I want to go right now. Amazing. Amazing. Mmm. I'm going to have to call him and ask him, what, what is y'all's slowest day of the week? Like, I want all the time exactly. and attention. Exactly, what time? When is the that? most time that you know, I can go and get the most time and attention to us? I don't want to have to wait for it to get seated. I don't mm-hmm. have to wait for the meat stick. Mm-hmm. Bring it, <laughs> Paul's. Bring that thing around here. I want y'all sitting around looking at me like, girl, someone <laughs> waiting on me to want some more so you yeah. can step up and give it to me. Mm. <clears throat> that bacon or whatever the hell I've been hearing about. Oh, at the, um... Yeah. Disney told us they got some... Delicious, like 
I guess candy bacon oh, at the uh, salad bar. Oh, that's what she said. Man. That's what she said. Mm. Mm -hmm. It was candied, baby. <laughs> you know how we like our candied in Houston. Have you ever went up to a um, all you can eat or any type of buffet line, or, you know, where they got the food up there mm -hmm. and cleaned it out? No. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who can eat that freaking much? Like, like you, like... <clears throat> Me and my partners would like stop at the all you can eat uh, breakfast buffet or whatever. Yeah, you told me. <laughs> and yeah, they come out with a fresh load of bacon. With between the three of us or whatever, how many it was, three or four, we'll clean that shit out. Wow, no more bacon. Who what? Oh hell no, not me. People be looking crazy. We didn't I didn't feel not one ounce of oh I shouldn't have did that. Oh, you gotta say something for nobody so everybody else. <laughs> I thought the shit was hilarious. <laughs> Y'all ate all the whole pan yeah, of bacon. Man. Chicken, bacon and chicken wings was uh, like mm, mm, mm. you shit out of luck if you want some bacon and chicken wings when we up in there because that's all we was eating yeah. pretty much. I couldn't eat that much. <laughs> like what? Mm, mm, you mm. know what? Back then I wasn't even eating um pork bacon. Really? I wasn't even eating. Yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, I wasn't even eating it. Yeah, yep. I'm finna, I, I don't want them, I don't want pork no more. Like I'm not cooking pork chops no more. You not cooking pork yeah, chops? Yeah, no. The last so you chops don't want I cook, no more pork? No, nah, no no pork chops. Like I, I still be eating bacon and like my mom made a delicious pork roast, but like I'm not buying and finna cooking pork chops no more. And, and why? Cause the last ones that I had that I got like something something's not right with them. What like, do you mean? They disgust me. You know what I'm saying? Like they made me sick to my stomach. They, even though they might have been good at the time, like mm -hmm. after the fact, when I'm thinking about eating them, they make my mouth water and not water in a good way, but like water like I want to spit up. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm. Something was not, and they wasn't old or nothing. They didn't have like no twinge of, you know, because you know me, I'll eat some shit. I'll eat some shit that's old because, you know, the, oh the heat God. don't kill that. I ain't, I ain't throwing <laughs> nothing away. Better make me throw up before I say it's bad. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Five gonna kill that. Mm mm. Something ain't right about them chops. Mm. In it, another pack was the same way. And I, I defrosted another pack and ate them. It's the same shit. I'm like, uh -uh, I'm done with these chops. I don't know if this something ain't right. And I'm glad because finally. The, Where'd you get them from? Kroger. Because if the mm. pig ain't clean, we ain't supposed to be eating it. According to the uh, book, uh, I'm glad I have finally found a way to be, it's repulsing me because it was tasting so good. Question. What? <clears throat> it's all off topic. Your five top R&B singers of all time. Five. I want to know y'all's five top R&B singers of all time. Let me know in the comments. Because somebody asked Kerry Hilson this question. And I just want to know everybody's from their, you know what I'm saying, generation. Well, for me, I'm not big on R&B. So I know. So for me, I don't even know I could come up with five, but it would go. Are you kidding? You it, it's going to go like pretty much like in this order. First, it was Keep Sweat for me. Boom, baby. You know what I'm and then it was like uh, Jodeci and R. Kelly at the same time oh, that came onto the scene. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. No, you know, I need to know from one to five. So start at five. Like, number one is R. Kelly. Greatest R&B yeah, singer of all time. Yeah, that's mine, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's my favorite and the greatest. You can't yeah. argue about that. And then everything else is, you know, like... um Ron Isley. Let's put Ron Isley up in that Joker, too. Let's put Ron Isley right up there on number two. Is he the one that be collaborating with, with R. Kelly? Um, yeah, and that's Ron Isley from, you know what I'm saying, the Isley Brothers. Who be collaborating with Snoop? Oh, Uncle Snoop be collaborating with Charlie Wilson. Oh. Oh, boy. Do you call Charlie R&B? Charlie, they, they, Charlie was like They funk. sound alike to me. Yeah, Gap Band. Isley and, um, nah. you know what I'm saying? Ron Isley had that high pitch voice or whatever. Mm. Mm. Um, who else? Jodeci, R. Kelly, Ron Isley. Mm. Um, 
it's for me personally. Um, Aaliyah, let's put Aaliyah up in there. But where in there. you haven't? Who's your five? Well, let me finish. Let me find one more person to put in there because I ain't. I'm, I'm struggling to even come up with five. <laughs> um. Mm. I can't believe you said Aaliyah. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I, I like just, Aaliyah, but I just don't think that she's one of the greatest. I'm I like about, her, I'm the, but... This is my, this my personal, because, I, I like, again, I okay. don't listen to a lot of R&B, but when Aaliyah mm -hmm. was alive and, you know, mm -hmm. she was under R. Kelly and he was producing her, mm -hmm. I listened to that music. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I would jam that. That, you know, little soft voice, angelic voice mm -hmm. over them R. Kelly beats. It was sick. Um... Mm -hmm. uh, Trying to see, like, that I'm leaving off somebody that's like, should definitely be on that, and I'm like, forgetting about um, Anita Baker. No, not for me. No, I ain't never oh. like no damn Anita Baker. <laughs> <laughs> Why you saying like that? Like, she's not an icon. Yeah, I don't, legend. I, I don't like, I never liked her voice ever. As a I kid. thought it was kind of funny too like sometimes, it. but I still liked it. I still liked her. Like R Grey's R B sing, oh Beyonce. God damn, how could you Yeah. Beyonce. Put Beyonce up in that. You didn't grow up on Beyonce. Can we not do that? Okay, <laughs> so, so you did not personal. grow up on her. Good, Beyonce, oh well, shit. Well let's have we got two I got two separate lists. Like top best R B greatest sing R B singers of all time. R. Kelly and Beyonce is on that list. Okay. Um Prince is on that list. He wasn't R and B. Do you what do you call R? What do you call Prince then? Do y'all think Prince was R and B? Let's see where he's categorized as. I think he was. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, Lloyd. Is Prince's music considered R and B? Yeah, they're gonna say no. They're gonna say no. Cause I know it ain't. I know it ain't. I don't even have to second guess that. Is Prince considered R and B? Is Prince considered R and B? Right. I'm full. Yeah, Prince was a, I don't know. He, he, he ain't R&B. He, he was straight. He was. He was a little bit He's of R&B. He was a little funk. Yeah, rock. He got. He had a lot of influence. You you couldn't really fit Prince in no box. Exactly. So, so who do you? Who is your top five then? I said, well, I'm gonna continue, right. continue thinking. So my top five of R&B singers: Jodeci. Um. R. Kelly, uh, Joe. <laughs> Joe, bro. Don't freaking play Joe. with me and don't play with Joe. Oh my okay? God, you corno. Don't Joe. play with Joe. Y'all know he got some of the best hits. I'm I'm ignoring him because he just doesn't know. Okay. Who Joe made girl music about I think. Joe. He made girl music. Yeah. He makes music about relationships. But I guess he made girl music to me. Relationships. Like R. Kelly and, jo and Joe made. Guy music. He Guy sweat. Yeah. Okay. Y'all already know. But Keith but was what the king I say? Keith of, sweat. of the old school R&B. He was, was the, the literal bum, bum, king. Bum, bum. Wait a minute. Because it, so, it, it was bumping. So, wait a minute. So I know. It wasn't huh? like your traditional uh, R&B. So, who? R. Kelly or Keith Sweat? I mean, Keith, R. Kelly is the king. But put Keith Sweat up in there. Yeah, Keith was the king before R. Kelly. Yeah, he was. What? He he was before him. Yeah, yeah. What? Wow, y'all know that. Oh my God, Keith Sweat. He has like. Does he have more and he hits ain't the than best R. Kelly? Singing joke. Like he had a whiny like. This, oh, he has it, a terrible voice. Yeah, but his but music his was music, yeah. mm -hmm. baby. Mm, mm, mm. For sure, undeniable. R. Kelly, you're right. He is the king because he had the voice. He had the hits. Kelly he had, had everything. He. Literally he even danced everything. if he was into that, you know, at one time he was dancing. He Which, didn't need you know music to sing good. 
I remember seeing him on this um on this video that he because um I think he was in Chicago and some people was like uh they didn't think that it was him. And they told him to sing. And then they like give him a hundred. They said, I'll give you a hundred dollars if you sing or something like that. Oh, Y'all, he was on the street. Like, I, I'm trying to still figure out why he was out there just walking on the street. Anyway, so, and he started to sing, y'all, with no music. And he, I know you saw that video. You don't remember that? Who we talking about again? R. Kelly. Remember when he was singing on the street? I don't remember. He, anyway. So, yeah, he sounds amazing with no music. Okay? Amazing. So, what did I say? Um, R. Kelly, Key Sweat, Joe. I know I said more than that. R. Kelly, Key Sweat, Key Joe, Sweat Joe, Jodeci. Joe, yeah, Jodeci. One more. Um, oh, my God. What is his name? They literally only play Jaheen. Okay. Okay. Jaheem. Now y'all know you really didn't hear Jaheem on the regular radio like you heard him most times <coughs> uh, on your uh, what, what did they call it? the night music? Our station is one hundred two jams. Okay. What do they call it? The night music. The the um. Quiet storm. Quiet storm. Yeah, that's where you would really hear Jaheem. But yeah, those are dang. Did I pick five men? And no women? Who sang R&B that I grew up with that was a woman? Um, Anita Baker. You like Anita? I like Anita Baker. Yes. Is it? Yeah. I like her. I mean, because the older people would listen to it, you know, and I just, <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. Well, let me finish my list. I figured okay. out somebody. So we got R. Kelly, Jodeci. Keith Sweat, Aaliyah, and we can't leave off the iconic, Who? God bless the dead, Who? Gerald Avert. I, I was, can't even think of a song. I, but I can't either, but I had some like Gerald Avert like CDs when I was like, you know, a teenager and shit. Like I used to, I, like Gerald, I don't remember, but I remember Gerald was jamming, boy. Do you know who we missing? Who? Luther Vandross. Yeah, I wasn't no big Luther. Movie. But you had to sing one of his songs. Like, no, he man. had hits. Are you kidding me? I mean, they, he, Luther had, like, what was that song? That was He had a song that was, like, every girl's... He had a song. Every, he had like, plenty of every, every girl's like, songs. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, that would be yeah, y'all songs. Song. Like, that did... And wasn't no man going crazy about no damn Luther. That's what it was a difference. Well, like, you're right. Like, you're when right. you make music, <laughs> either you're making it for women or you're making it for men. R. Kelly, Jodeci, they made R&B music for men. Luther made R&B music for women. Joe for women. Like, you know, and that's, that's the guys true. that I don't right. vibe with. I vibe with the ones made it for us. You're right. You are so right about that. Mm-hmm. I, I never... Always forever. Who sang that? Because that's my favorite. One of my favorite that songs. Luther? Yeah, exactly. Absolutely not. That's not Luther? That was yeah, before Luther. Luther. Always forever. Oh, Wait. Let's not get copyrighted because I was about to start going in. Yeah, that's no, a beautiful look song. That up. That's a beautiful look that song. Up. Who who sang always in forever? But like I don't ever like them songs. Like it's all like, emotional. I ain't like them songs. Like you know, make borderline make you like feel like going to cry or something or like like some kind of yeah. Like no, I ain't think that. Give me some. Give me a beat. Like mm. boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? See, see who sang. Um, I'm curious. That's Luther Vandross. I know that's always not Always Freddie him. Jackson, one of them. I know it's not Luther. Who sung Always and Forever? Yeah, I'm about to bust. I am full. I should have only ate three. <clears throat> Luther Vandross, Always and Forever. You should have put a couple of notes in there. It probably would have <laughs> known what you was talking about. What does it say? I ain't pull. I ain't got time to read. Luther Vandross, always and forever. 
That's not his song. It is. That's him singing it right you there. Ram it. I know what I'm talking about. That's it. That's it right there. Turn it down all the way. That's it. Because she don't even know Luther. Talking about Luther. Hold up. Yeah, that's the song Luther had that everybody, you know. That's old people music to me. That is him. Yeah, old people Y'all, I love that song. But you know what? It might not be his song. He might have been re-doing uh, it. Because I, cause I think, y'all, Always Possibly. and Forever is a very, very old song. And it was not originally his. Mm. It, it wasn't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right, <laughs> I guess it's possible that ain't Exactly. Because he did a lot of people's songs, little do you know. Luther? Like, I thought all of those songs that he had was his, y'all. Like, a lot of these people. Who wrote the song Always and Forever that Luther Vandross sung? That's probably why they're confused, because they're like, that's not Luther's song. <laughs> Yeah, that's a Luther song, bro. It's not. Yeah, I don't know. I can't find it. Because I think I saw uh, somebody, because uh, <clears throat> TikTok, at night for some reason, they always playing like original songs from the original artists, like when they when they were performing it live. And I have seen somebody sing that song from back in like the 70s. Really? Yeah, the early 70s. And it might yeah, have been the style of song. It seemed 60s. like an old song. Like, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Anyway. So, um. I feel like I'm leaving somebody else. Update. Oh. No, go ahead. Uh, they found that guy who, um, you know, unalived all those people in Maine. Because they ain't no they update. Found, they already know that. I'm just this trying to let them know that I channel. know. I'm just trying to let them know that I know <laughs> that, uh, yeah, they found him not alive anymore. Did they say whether he did it himself or? I didn't hear. Do they even know? Anyway. He must have because I'm sure they would have bragged about it if they did it. Mm. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, What now? Did you get your five? Uh... Yeah, I guess I put, you know. So R. Kelly is number one for you. Seem like, yeah, for sure. And then and then Keith Sweat. Them the hit makers, yeah. baby. God dang. Or, or Jodeci. Like, he keeps Sweat and Jodeci is like two and three, no matter how you twist it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, baby. Uh, Jodeci is not above Keith Sweat. Are you, like, for real? They're number three. Straight up, number three. Like, I'm not accepting anything else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh okay. Come on now. Josie and them came out in the nineties. Marvin Gaye. That's who. Not not Gerald yes. Laverne. Marvin Gaye. You said not Gerald <laughs> <laughs> No offense, Jer you know what I'm saying? I I I messed with Gerald Tough. He's like, yeah, the solo album. His solo albums went hard. <laughs> oh my god. I wasn't jamming Levert. <laughs> his solo albums, you know, and then he... Wait a minute, who did you just say again? Who was that? Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye, okay. Yeah. That's an icon right there. <clears throat> anyway! And Al Green, like, Marvin Gaye, Al Green, and Isaac. Al Bates, Green, y'all! As, as young people, that, that was some old people that we jammed the shit exactly. out of. Exactly, we jammed we that. Did. I bumped that in the ride. Definitely. Turning heads. Who was that jamming Al Green? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Al Green was something <laughs> else. Oh my gosh. Remind me of a song. Remind me of a I'm song. I'm so tired of being alone. Right around bumping that shit by yourself. Turning all heads. How does it go? I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired. Oh, Come yeah, on. yeah. Okay, okay. You Come on, now. I'm so <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, y'all make sure y'all let us know your top five. Top five, okay. Um, y'all, the tacos, 10 out of 10 for the win. Y'all already know it's always going to be 10 out of 10. 
Yeah, she didn't master the art of making tacos. Oh, I mean, yeah. We only eat them every damn Monday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday for y'all. We record the day before y'all, just in case y'all didn't know that. Anyway, um, yeah, so happy Tuesday. <laughs> um, make sure y'all are following me on Instagram and TikTok and my family blog channel. That's where you will get all of your recipes, okay? Um, and what else? Make sure y'all uh, are subscribed to Amaya and Jaya's um, channel, Amaya's channel, Leia's channel, because they are all currently uh, uploading, okay, consistently. Thank you got you links in the description Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, in my uh, description <clears throat> box. I probably need to update it, though, because I think I um, updated my description box, and I don't know. Yeah. But y'all, y'all will see it because I'm. I'll do it um, tonight. Anyway, yeah. So look in the description box for the links, okay? For all of their channels. Um. What else? Anything else? Is that it? You want to tell them what we just learned about the um? Ain't no need in pissing nobody off. There's a place for that. There's going to be a time and a place for that. Why would that piss somebody off? I well, mean, I guess that mean? would Why? piss somebody off. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's history. It's history. You know what I'm saying? Our history... History is so freaking embarrassing. So embarrassing. You know? Um, but it's history. That ain't even a word I would pick for it. I know, huh? Anyway, we yeah. was, was watching what happened to what, what are they? What are they? The not the pygmies. Aboriginal people from Tasmania in Australia. Tasmania the Tasmanian in um, people. How the, the what, what the happened? Brit, how the them? British came in and uh, just they called them Europeans. No, they, well, yeah, I mean Britain is in Europe, mm -hmm. but it was the British in particular who uh, went over there, and you know they just they wiped out an entire population. Of, you know, aboriginals. Y'all should have heard killed the them details. for sport. They uh, try to keep. They, I think they would eat the, like the the, the babies. They say they would roast them alive. They, they, mm -hmm. I think they was eating them alive. Uh, they would hunt them. them. Yeah, they would enslave them. They it would was hunt just, them, y'all, for sport. Hunt them. The, and then, like, the, the government or whatever, England or whatever, ended up putting, like, declaring martial law over there and, like, really declared open season on them and started offering a bounty for, cap, you know, to capture them and turn them in. That's the only reason that some of them end up surviving because they, the government offered money for the capture of them. And so they end up, you know. And they weren't considered human. Yeah, that's how they were considered animals. And this is how, and here neither. This is, and that what happened there to them is just a representative of what, of what happened, happened worldwide. Exactly. When so I think it was in fourteen ninety two, the Pope made a papal decree or whatever. I forgot what you call it. I'm gonna have to look it up. That's why I said it's gonna be a time and a place because mm -hmm. I want names, dates, and all that shit on everybody, mm -hmm. so everybody, everything can be researched. But you know, the Pope basically declared, hey. European nations, you go out and uh, with the blessings of God, go out and conquer all of these indigenous nations. Uh, in the name of and, God. In the name of Jesus. Bring, make them worship Jesus. And if mm -hmm. they don't, kill them, destroy them, take what they have as yours, take their land, you know, because they ain't shit. And, and, and I give you the blessings of God. This is what the Pope did. What a fucking monster. Right? And hey, all of that evil shit that happened to all of our ancestors ever since then, all around the world. And then now, the white man's still in power and he want to erase that shit, act like it ain't never happened. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what a wicked fucking beast. You know, the, the excuse is always, it happened so long ago. And I, I'm so tired of hearing that. But it happened. It happened. It's a part of our history. It's what shapes <clears throat> us now and you know like it, it's what shaped everybody from then on and like how could you ask somebody to forget about something like that or get over it 
Like, what you want? Oh, that pisses me off. See, that's why I didn't want to bring it up because it's just, you know. <clears throat> so, yeah. And, um, and, 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 and to this day, the spell that he has casted, you know, he went around spreading his religion with blood and torture. Mm -hmm. And then now to this day, still, the descendants of the people that were tortured and murdered mm -hmm. and they land stolen and they were enslaved and all these atrocities committed against because they wouldn't accept this false religion that this invader came to put on them. Mm -hmm. Now, today, they wholeheartedly walk around and, and they, they got them. Shocking in their mind. We're not shocking in our arms no more. We shocking in our mind. Mm. Soon gonna be time to break the chains. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Cause I get angry and there ain't no way to fight but with this mouthpiece. Mm. They gonna deal with it. Um. So yeah, y'all. Hope everybody's having an amazing day. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> Pray for my anger. This after the same made me sit up here and say this shit, and I'm mad again. Hope everybody has a great day. I'm fucking ready to <laughs> blast off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my God. Y'all, if y'all would have just heard this video that we just finished watching before we got on here, I was just, I'm like, I was asking him, I was like, I, it's unbelievable, but I do believe it, but how? How and I did, did they why. come around? How did they destroy all of the indigenous people? I mean, not everybody. They had, they but, they had weapons that but they, they couldn't just deal with. And and they just came and just stole and murdered. With the disease. And, they, they, you know, they, they, they were unclean. So they come with all of these back, all these germs and bacteria and diseases that these indigenous people never encountered before. So that right. helped them to wipe out the populations. You know what I'm saying? You sick bastards. You killed everybody because you're a fucking filthy animal. And you know what? And that's why these tribes and stuff get all um, aggressive and stuff. Yeah, they don't want to exactly. come and visit don't them. I don't blame them. Exactly. Like they probably bringing them some stuff that they have never even... It was the Moors. The, the the black Moors who were really the, the original Hebrew Israelites who had to switch identity to escape being slaughtered uh, when that whenever Jerusalem was invaded back you know in the BC era mm. ended up becoming the Moors ended up here in America they was the ones who taught the Europeans who came here civilized them right. you know what I'm saying uh -huh. how to be clean. How to, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Have you know, flush the toilets the system that flushes and right. get the shit and away. And after they you learned just, all be, that. Be, before that, they would just shit and piss in the bucket and toss the shit out the window into what? the street. That's how they live. Just toss the shit out in the street and piss and shit everywhere. Sleeping and, and living with the animals and shit. Just, it was, I'm talking, I'm talking like barnyard animals and shit. Not a pet dog. Sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sounds familiar. <laughs> Sleeping with pets. <laughs> I mean, you know, it ain't far from it. But no, I'm talking about <laughs> barnyard animals. I mean, yeah. All over state, like, <laughs> it's just real shit, you know? Not being racist or nothing. These are facts. These are all facts. And it's time for the world got to deal with the facts. You can't hide the facts. You can't really? try to change you the facts. You can't get mad they at have. the facts. And they have. They have changed so many facts. Yeah. Nah. You can't get mad because it's a fact. It's what it's time happened. To deal with it. It's time, you know. It might it's be just, embarrassing it's time, it, for you because it's time, a spell has been done. Evil has been committed, and then spells have been casted to make it seem like the evil ones who committed the evil are really good, and exactly. the people they committed the evil against is bad. Mm -hmm. And to this day, all yep. the spells got to get broken. All that mm -hmm. shit, all that, all them lies got to get retold. Yeah. Fuck what you about trying to hide shit. Fuck you and your hidden hand. But I feel like the younger generation now, they're they're learning all of this. They try, they're, but they're really it. not. You have to they seek are. after that knowledge. They not. They a lot of them are a seeking little the shit, after it. They're little, reading. A, the, the little shit they had in school, they want to take that out now. They want to take all that out. So, There's still books. So so There's still books that, that people if can we don't out if we don't become proactive in the researching and learning this and then turn around and teaching it to everybody else, it's gonna be lost. Yeah. And then the children are gonna grow up. And not even know why the world is the way it is and not know who the evil one is and, and not know what's righteous and what's wicked. You know what I'm saying? They're going to think the opposite because everything that's been turned on his head, the wicked shit is, seen, is deemed as righteous. You know, people think the Pope is a godly man. 
but he then committed an order to murder of so many people. He like he make Hitler look like a, a church boy, an altar boy. You know what I'm saying? They sit to end this day. They in the Catholic Church sodomizing these boys all around the world. And they still it's still carrying on. It's still carrying on. Like the wickedness run this world. That's why they yep. continue to, to be un what's the word? They ain't been dealt with. It ain't no justice here. I'm about to shine a big ass light on everybody. Somebody, if, if you know in the reading, you ain't gonna be you ain't gonna be quiet and you ain't gonna be hidden no more. I'm shining a light on everybody. That's like I'd rather do that than anything else. You know what I'm saying? Cause they this is war, man. This is war. Um they trying to destroy any race. Mm -hmm. And they 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 have like them people in Tasmania. We would have yeah. never knew about that. They and wiped them off the face the, of all the of earth, them. Down Everybody. to the point, down to the it point that was the last surviving the last man. One, and then when he died, they came in. And they they so fucking wicked with they with they rituals that they be doing like bone and skull uh secret organization. Mm -hmm. They came in and stole his skull out of his head. They detached the skin from his skull. Mm -hmm. Took his skull, mm -hmm. put another person's skull, and then de uh, reattached his his face to the new skull because they wanted his skull because right. go go with their rituals and shit. Then, then they started taking his whole body. Yeah, yeah, then yeah, exactly, that, exactly. They took the rest of them. <laughs> yep. 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 But um. The Tasmanians, um, I was, what, what, why, why do they say Tasmanian devil? Is that That's the name animal. of an animal for That's real? An animal. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, but what's and it might weird be, and, and is also stuff, the, words like that, like, it's meant to demean. Yeah. Mm. Just like black, labeling us black, and then in their dictionary, black is equivalent to bad. And all of that shit. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Dark. So yeah, it, it, it makes mm -hmm. yeah, like all that shit is by design. Wow. Oh, the oh, way oh. they designed everything. And see, and this shit been working. <sighs> but somebody need to explain this and like it, it and break the spell. The spell need to be broken. The spell gotta be broken. Cause people still walk around in the spell. They and, and they born into it. Yep. And then they have babies and then they, they put their babies, they, mm -hmm. they help cast that spell on it to their own children. They do it themselves. Anyway, um, we found out what Uncle Tom means, too. He looked that up. There's a story behind that. Did y'all know that? And also, do y'all know that where doggy bag comes from? Like when you take your food, your, your leftovers from a restaurant? It literally hit me it when... literally... Go ahead. We was getting ready to leave, and... uh. I was saying to myself, <clears throat> I need a doggy bag because I want to bring this bone home to Bailey. You know, and then when he, when he came and I mean, I was like, yeah, I want to bring this to my dog because I mm -hmm. think he was going to throw it away. I'm like, no, I need it for my dog. And then I realized, wait a minute, doggy bag? I'm trying to bring this to my dog. It must be where the shit came from. And I looked it up. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> World so War II, people started feeding the animals table scraps to try to save money. They fed them table scraps. So that's where the doggy bag came from. I didn't even know that, y'all. <laughs> I never, like, really looked that far into that word. You know what I'm saying? Doggy bag. Like, I didn't, you never even questioned why in the hell would you call yeah. a bag to bring home some food a doggy bag? So it's actually for your dog. <clears throat> actually. But, you know, people these so days, So we they use don't it now eat. to bring home uneaten food. Back then they used it to bring home bones and leftovers of shit. You were done, but this scraps is for the animal. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what it mm. was. Okay. Yeah, it just evolved into yeah. actual food. But not for the dog, though. Anyway. And that's what I'm interested in. Dude. Like, the meat, like, Why? where shit came from. Why is shit the way uh -huh. it is? Instead of just, you just born into this world mm -hmm. and everything is like, and you just go along with it. Nah, pump the brakes. Let me see what, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You might, you'll change up what you're doing and how you're moving and what you're thinking and mm -hmm. how, what you believe in. When you research the history of why shit is the way it is, instead yeah. of just go along with shit, that's the worst thing to do. Just go along with some shit. Mm -hmm. Like free your mind. Don't let nobody shackle your mind and make you feel like it's wrong to seek knowledge mm -hmm. and to seek. You know what I'm saying? And to question what? 
How dare you taste that? That's like that when you know somebody trying to like work a spell on you and and and, and pull some bullshit on you. Who say a spell? You know what I'm saying when they when they deny you the the ability to question. You know what right, I'm saying? Like, right, come on, right. what kind of little like? They come want on. you to stay uninformed. And exactly. Dumb. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> if you see some inconsistencies, don't question. Like what? Mm -hmm. Fool, you a fool, and you be just being exposed. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We gotta go. <laughs> um, I bet you you too full for that dang old watermelon. Because I know I am. I literally I mean, it's to. a watermelon. No, I could, eat, I, could, I could dig into a watermelon. All right, so y'all stay tuned. But if you full, then you can't eat the watermelon. I, I could take a bite. Uh, a bite? We're going to cut a whole watermelon to take a bite? You better take... Okay, well, we need to... So what we gonna do then? Cause we need to uh pick that dag on me watermelon before y'all y'all know for the next couple of days it's gonna be like in the what thirties? Yeah, we might as well go pick it right now because it was... it's gonna be in the thirties, y'all. Yeah, yeah, we don't need the melon to freeze. Cause wait a minute, it's but gonna we're gonna end this tonight. video. We're gonna end this video and we're gonna start and do another one for the for the watermelon. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, play. Oh, make sure y'all y'all know where to follow me. Uh, hey, it's drizzling out there. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, we need to get it. We need to get it. We need to save her. <laughs> <laughs> because y'all know all fruits are her. You know that, right? All fruits and vegetables are her. What are you they, talking about? They're women. They are. They're not men because men can't get pregnant. But... I'm sorry, there are female and male flowers on the plant. You know, They're, both yes, are required but they to can't, create. You, male flowers cannot create. Now, as far as I know, cannot create fruit. Only the the uh, female flower. Mm, really? Boom. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that makes sense because y'all yeah, had a baby. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Anyway. Yeah, we, <laughs> we wouldn't be shit without y'all. Exactly. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Mm, 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 mm. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey. Uh, 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 uh. Hey. 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 See you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You yeah. here? Bye, y'all. Yes, watermelon topics. Are you excited? Oh, my freaking God. We're about to eat it. <laughs> oh, my God.